Hi guys, how are you? I'm Julio and on this video I'll show you some peculiarities about English proficiency tests to help you choose the best one. English proficiency tests are certifications that can open doors worldwide for those who possess them. Currently, there are various types of tests that assess your writing, reading, listening, and speaking abilities. Each of these have their peculiarities. Some are focused on students, others on those who will work abroad. There are also those administered by American institutions and others that are more recognized in Europe. Therefore, choosing correctly and understanding each one is the first step before registering. Currently, there is a wide variety of English proficiency tests and I'm going to talk about the most well-known ones to help you make your decision. TOEFL. The TOEFL, an abbreviation of Test of English as a Foreign Language, is perhaps the most famous and classic among students. It is accepted almost everywhere worldwide, especially in the United States and Canada. What's great about this test is that it is also accepted by universities in these countries for both undergraduate and graduate programs. It is taken online, but has authorized testing centers throughout Brazil, focusing on students who wish to enroll into foreign universities. The test lasts for four and a half hours and is divided into four sections writing assessment, reading assessment, listening, and oral assessments. IELTS. The IELTS, also known as the International English Language Testing System, is administered by the British institutions, making it the test from the land of the Queen. It is widely accepted by universities, companies, and even immigration authorities in various countries, such as the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. There are currently two versions of this test, academic and general. The academic version is for those planning to use the score for university admission, while the general version is more focused on people looking to immigrate for work or residence. The test can be taken in person or online, depending on the chosen type of test. The format here is similar to the TOEFL, and the speaking test involves a conversation with a native speaker or an examiner who holds certification. What's appealing about IELTS is that it evaluates English in both everyday and academic situations focusing on communication fluency. Cambridge. The Cambridge English exams are also British and the institution promoting the exam is the University of Cambridge, one of the oldest and most prestigious universities globally. This test is widely accepted both by universities and companies worldwide. This test is only administered in person at authorized centers in various countries around the world, including Brazil. You can find these tests as B2 First, known as Cambridge English First, FCE, C1 Advanced, known as Cambridge English Advanced, CAE, C2 Proficiency, known as Cambridge English Proficiency, CPE. The B2 First qualification proves that the student has the language skills to live and work independently in an English-speaking country or study in courses taught in English. The C1 Advanced Qualification is an in-depth, high-level exam that shows you have the necessary language skills that employers and universities are looking for. C1 Advance demonstrates the student has the skills to make the most of studying, working, and living 
in English-speaking countries. The C2 proficiency qualification is the highest level of qualification, proof that the student is a highly competent English speaker. The C2 proficiency qualification shows that the student has mastered English to an exceptional level and proves that they can communicate with the fluency and sophistication of a highly competent English speaker. Preparing for and passing the exam means that the student has the level of English necessary to study or work in a high-level professional or academic environment. For example, in a postgrad or doctoral program. TOEIC. The test of English for international communication is promoted by the same institution as the TOEFL and is also widely known. This test is conducted in person and the target audience for this exam is professionals who wish to prove their English proficiency for the business world, whether to work in multinational companies or to study in university. As its aim is business, the test is entirely focused on this specific vocabulary and evaluates communication skills in real professional situations, such as negotiations, meetings, etc. This test can be done as a listening and reading test, both evaluated at once, or speaking and writing test. GRE. The GRE, or Graduate Record Examinations, is a test focused on demonstrating proficiency for candidates applying for graduate programs in the United States and Canada. In other words, those who wish to pursue a master's or doctoral degree abroad can opt for this test because it is more famous and widely used in these cases. TKT. The Teaching Knowledge Test is a certificate specifically for English teachers. Its acceptance is more geared towards educational institutions and teacher training worldwide. This test is tailored for teachers, so in the exam you'll find sections on language knowledge as well as teaching methodologies and didactic skills. CELTA Following the same line, we have the CELTA, Certificate in English Language Teaching to Adults. This test is endorsed by Cambridge, and it's not exactly an exam like the previous ones, but rather a practical course focused on teaching English methodology for adults. At the end of the course, there is a final exam to certify the candidates. Its target audience is English teachers seeking a qualification in teaching English and it is conducted in person. Quite a bit of information, ain't it? I hope you have learned more about the test you aim to take. Feel free to tell us in the comments which of these tests you plan to take and why. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you, bye-bye.